In the build up to SC25, we made a lot of like budget starter teams. Now the game is out fully, I've made a full prem starting 11 that suits the formation that I personally quite like, but also are players that are pretty solid in every position. Now this team is gonna cost you less than 15,000 coins with the way the market is currently sat. And there are cheaper alternatives if you actually need to make it cheaper. There is one player who I think is above 5K and then everyone else is considerably cheaper including one free card uh, that if you don't want to get the objective of him done then you can pick up pretty much anyone or the base version of him is like 800 coins but the team also allows that actually if you've already got players in that position that you prefer you can kind of just slot those guys in anyway so it's entirely up to you i've made it as sort of universally mix aroundable as possible for a full prem team but without further ado let's look at the uh, pretty decent budget starter team. So starting off in goal, and this is your freebie card, the Robert Sanchez World Tour card. Now this card is a free objective that you can get done, uh, and I highly recommend him. It's a really nice looking card, uh, and he's actually decent. Uh, I was unlucky enough to get uh, Howard as my starter hero, and he is god awful. But Sanchez, I actually find, is a little bit more reliable. I do slightly prefer him. Um, and does a good job. It's a free card at the end of the day. If you want to buy a gold card, if you don't get on with Robert Sanchez, Premier League keeper that's relatively cheap. Uh, I think he's maybe between 1 and 2k if memory serves correctly. Uh, then I would honestly have a look at Raya from Arsenal. He's been pretty good in games I've played against him with. Uh, but what I will always say with goalkeepers is if you find a goalkeeper that works for you, stick with it. I could sit here now and say that Sanchez is the best keeper in the game. He could be your least favorite keeper in the game. It really is potluck with keepers. So if you find a keeper you like, stick with it. Obviously, this is a Prem team, so I'd recommend a Prem keeper. At right back, we're going to a surprisingly cheap Pedro Porro. This, uh, this guy's card is really, really nice. Uh, now, obviously, a lot of these players suit the uh, system I run and the custom tactics I run. Shout out to Traff, aka Shorty, on the Twitch chat. Um, because it's actually tactics he gave me and said try these i think you'll enjoy them and i do very much enjoy them so if you guys want those tactics i'll pop them in like the pinned comment and you guys are welcome to have a look at them um but this system works having one like fullback and then having a uh false back so this is the fullback here in poro really nice pace uh, really good passing and dribbling defending is also pretty decent the physicality is great with a really high stamina uh, personally uh, i think you can whack either an anchor or a center if you're happy with 82 pace but i think an anchor is the best thing to put on him but it's a really nice starter right back card um and a slightly cheaper option is one basaka he's also pretty solid uh, and does a good job on that right hand side into the center backs we've got pal torres up first really nice again solid solid starter card i think he looks really decent the agility and balance isn't a huge problem i found in my couple of times using him really nice starter card does the job decent pace good defending and alongside him is timber who is for a centre-back, lovely, lovely pace. Dribbling's really nice as well, because uh, I believe he can play out on the uh, the right-hand side. Oh, he can't. Maybe it's just Karim and stuff that he can play fullbacks and things like that, or at least he's quick to train there. But yeah, Timber's great. Uh, really solid card. The defending stats aren't bad, neither of the physicality. Again, 74 stamina for the start of the game is not a problem. Uh, again, Sentinel, backbone if you want up the passing a little bit, whatever kind of suits you. Um, Left-back, I've gone with Matson really good little player um plays the false back role really well so does fit that really nicely the dribbling stats are really really good with a solid solid pace that as well if you are going to run false back with him for me personally i would say backbone or sentinel uh just gets the strength up a little bit but also just boosts the passing 80 short passing is okay so if you'd rather just go sentinel and focus on the physicality and the defense then stick with it but uh yeah really nice starter card and again crazy crazy cheap um into the cdm spot vifa is a card that massively surprised me i was using him uh on my stream when i i needed a dutch player to get my danjuma on chemistry um and premier league is another link that i really could have done with so i just chucked him in there for the sake of chemistry and i actually ended up really enjoying his card he's also phenomenal from corners um this is not the version that i was using because um, i've since um SBC'd him and then got him back because he's not in my main team anymore. But um, even in this three games that I've used this version for, he's also scored a headed corner. So he, uh, yeah, really, really solid, uh, really, really nice little starter card and uh, surprisingly good. Again, it's one of those cards that if you already have somebody you're like, actually, I've got a really good CDM that I like from the Prem, stick with it. This is just a suggestion of 11 players that fit a nice team. And if you want to dot around it, 
crack on because uh, you'll find players that will suit you. But this is a really solid team for me. Right hand side, I've gone with Bailey. Now, Bailey is a really good starter card. And again, surprising cheap. 90 pace didn't massively drive his card up. Dead Eye, and you are laughing on this card. He's going got 90 pace, and then it's like 85 shooting, 85 passing, 86 dribbling. It's phenomenal, phenomenal stats. Really, really good. The stamina is a touch on the low side, so he is the kind of card that if you're heavily wing dependent, then you probably will need to bring on somebody in like the 70th minute or so, but he will do you a great, great job. Really love his card. Super solid, super usable. Um, into the midfield too. Now, the most expensive player here is Jolinton. I believe he's worth like five and a half thousand coins, maybe even six thousand coins. And th that is like nearly half your budget. So a player you could go for is Gravenbirch. And if you do and you want to get the playstyle pluses or the, the roles pluses, you'd actually play Gravenbirch at DM and Vifa at center mid because he can play the box-to-box -box role and then uh, Gravenbirch can play the holding. But if you're happy to get Jolinton or you've got a player like Jolinton, again, just really solid. Runs the box to box perfectly. Decent shooting. Uh, it's really good in the stats that need to be good. Like 80 positioning, uh, 74 finishing and 84 shot power. Really good little start of stats there for the three important stats you need on somebody that isn't an out and out striker. Passing's really nice. Dribbling's good apart from the agility and balance. But I haven't found it be massively problematic for me personally. And then the defending and physicality are beautiful so yeah really nice and he's partnered alongside carlos soler who's a card that did surprise me actually at how much i enjoyed him uh, he's the 70s hullet gang i don't know if there's a name for that but the 70s hullet gang with every base that being in 17 above really solid great passing great dribbling defending stats were actually surprisingly misleading i found him super solid at winning the ball in the middle of the park anchors perfect because it takes him to like 80 pace and then a really solid defending and physicality stat lovely lovely starter card and again just does the job in the middle of the field for me really really nice card and i really recommend him and then on the left hand side i've gone with raheem sterling um again another card that surprised me with how cheap he was with when you look at how good his stats are because 85 pace 85 dribbling with 93 agil agility and 92 balance for me is mental but again dead eye on this card and you're looking at 85 pace something like 86 shooting 81 or 82 passing and then 85 dribbling that for a starter card that you're picking up for like a thousand coins is crazy good i love this card uh, he fits in my qpr pass and present so i've used him a few times with that where he's surrounded by majority silver cards and he still absolutely cooks for me um and i love him really nice card really recommend him uh the roles that i use him in uh, is inside forward in this formation so he does cut inside a little bit but you can have him at wide playmaker you can have him at wide midfielder he'll do you a job and uh, i'd be surprised if you don't end up enjoying his card and up top I use this guy as a super sub in my main team, which is where I've realized how good this card is. Cody Gakpo's card is mental. Like, I was talking um, early doors, like before the game came out, that I thought Gakpo would be quite expensive. Uh, you know, you'd be looking at a good chunk of change to pick him up, like 10, 15,000 coins, because it's a really, really nice card. He's like barely even 2K. Um, I know that average price is a little bit off sometimes. He's super cheap, boys. Four star, four star. 82 pace, 83 shooting, 78 passing, 83 dribbling, and decent physical stats well with 91 jumping. And he's quite tall as well. Uh, six foot two, and he's he's not slow. He's really solid. I really love this card. Again, you could go anchor, you could go hunter if you really wanted to. Um, sorry, not anchor, hawk. Apologies. Don't go anchor, go hawk. Uh, but yeah, just a lovely, lovely card. Obviously, everyone's Premier League, so everyone's on chemistry, but that is the squad. Um, again, a couple of players you can sort of just chop and change if you find players you prefer let's say for example you really like Dallow, who's got a lovely card this year he can kind of run either of those positions you need him to obviously your left back doesn't have to be the person that's the false um false back uh, again shout out to Trav who gave me these his was the false back was his right back because he's got somebody there for it whereas i use alibur in my main team who's really good in that false back role um but just go with players that maybe slot in around some of this team but these are super cheap cards that will absolutely like they'll just do you a great job in fc right now um i have used uh this exact squad a couple of times because i wanted to check that the, the squad actually works well together um and I've been really struggling at the start of FC25. Uh, it's probably the worst I've been at the start of a new FC or FIFA. I normally start and I'm, I'm okay at the game. Like, I'm not bad. I'm not good at FC25. I'm struggling to adapt to it. But I played three games, I think it was, with this. I got um, a comfortable win. I got a draw. And then I got a bit of a scrappy win. So 
I was pretty happy with uh, with how the, the team was working in Div 5. So I'm about a win off of Div 4 now. So we, we're getting there. We're getting there. But uh, I really recommend this team. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts or if there's any players that you would maybe change, any players you think I've missed for a good budget. Obviously, I've not used every single card, but these are cards I've used and can say they're good little cards and I highly recommend them. Uh, and leave a like if the video helped. It's much appreciated. It helps me, the video, and the channel out a whole bunch. Hit the sub button if you're new and turn notifications on to be told any time that we upload a video. But for now, guys, I want to say thank you for watching. Uh, take care. I've been Tom. You guys have been awesome. And I'll see you soon. Look after yourselves. And of course, wash your hands. See you later.